What up with the world, this is your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This is the first of a series on how to get into college radio. Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it. This is how you get into college radio radio this is how you market your music to college radio and why this is important so college radio can be a great marketing vehicle for artists to push their music out into the market it's a low-cost way to get radio play lifelong fans and build a network with people that are willing to play your music so what i'm going to do is create a, a full video guide here on the channel and it's going to be in a uh, kind of three to four part series Series and, and, and we're gonna start there. So what are folks in college radio actually looking for? The summer and the winter break is a great time for people to prepare their music to submit to colleges. This is because uh, during that break time, people are off doing their own thing. There's nobody really on campus, so you're not probably going to get played in that in that in that break time. But it's an opportunity for you to prep things, get it ready for the fall or get it ready for the spring semester and send that stuff off as soon as kids get back on campus. So I used to work in college radio. I was a radio host uh, along with my co-host uh, DJ EO and we ran a show called The Concrete Schoolyard. We inherited the show from another DJ and then started to kind of build upon that. During my time with that station, I was also the marketing director for the station um, and I worked closely with all the folks that programmed music there. Some of the things that we were looking for when we took submissions from artists was original music, high quality music, so it can't be garbage, um, clean and radio friendly, and we expected folks to have a respectful follow-up. The phones rang off the hook, and so nine times out of ten, we did not pick up the phone as much as we could have, but um, we usually followed up via email, which was much more efficient for us, much more uh, user friendly because we're not there all the time to answer the phones. One thing that in my experience is is the quality of the music. That was a hit or miss situation. So usually the better the music, the more successful an artist was with getting airplay. A lot of folks sent in some garbage music and what we did with it is we put it up on a wall of shame and, uh, <laughs> and not only the music, it was the artwork as well. There was some interesting stuff sent to the station and so um, you got to be ready, you got to be professional, you got to send in some good quality stuff in order to get some airplay or at least just to get a listen. So how can you prepare for this? Um, clean versions of all of your music should be available and it should be in an album format. College radio, don't, don't, they don't take singles a lot. And so um, you don't want to send just a bunch of singles to college radio. They're, they're not going to be happy about that. You also need an artist one sheet and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. So in order to do this, you have to get organized and there's some steps that you have to take in order to get ready for a college radio campaign. Step one, create a folder with the album title uh, dash college radio step two add clean music to that folder um, check your metadata is step three and then add your one sheet to that folder so you can get ready to make your package to send to the station so I usually start with the music first um, but because I'm experienced with this every time I go and I make an album I make a clean version of the album as well to uh, get ready for promotions this is very handy especially if you want to run ads and things of that nature any marketing any promotion you're usually gonna need a clean version available some fans want that clean version too so just have it ready um, because it'll save you a lot of time. I created a folder and the way that I organize my files is using Google Drive. That way you can click a link and if uh, and a, a program director takes digital files instead of a physical submission, um, then you can send that digital link 
to anybody that takes online submissions via email. So as you can see here, I have created my folder. It's called um, Overtime College Radio. And then I start to enter all of my files into that folder. So you got the clean versions of all those files. And so you can see here that there's something missing. As you can see, I'm missing some of the metadata, some of the information that is attached to the file so it can be easily organized and arranged when somebody receives it. Metadata is super crucial because if you just, you know, send somebody a CD and it just says track one, track two, track three, like what are they going to do with that? They're not going to go through and actually like put all this information into their system. They're going to be like, oh, throw the CD out into the window. Garrett, it'd be nice for, for, for that to be <laughs> an effect, like throwing a CD and then crash sound. Matter, matter of fact, I'll do it. They will, they will just take your CD and just out into the window. And if you can add a crash sound, that would be great. Later on in this series, I'm gonna talk about how you can get CDs printed and manufactured and a metadata part is a part of that process anyway. So you're going to have to add metadata no matter what the situation is. If you're burning CDs by yourself, make sure to be careful, make sure you do it in a very professional way and make sure that you don't, um, you don't Put yourself in a situation where you don't look professional like there's two options when it comes to burning cds and i'll go over that with you at a later time step four is creating a one sheet and what i'm going to do is pull up my template for this one sheet um, you can download this template on my website wordplaytj.com slash products slash one sheet and um yeah that's available for free with a link down in the description. So I'm gonna show you my one sheet and show you all of the sections to what I have. So here's my one sheet. It is on the Microsoft Word um, file. You can do this in Google Docs as well. So first there's a picture of the artwork. So include a two to three sentence bio, an idea of how the album sounds, and just be honest. If you lie to them, they're going to, again, throw your CD out of the window. So next up, you wanna include a track list, all of the tracks on the album. Um, I, I said that albums are preferred, but you can also do an EP if that is what all you have. Suggested plays. So type the tracks that you want the music supervisor to listen to and to filter through. You don't want to like send them attention to the worst tracks on the album. Go ahead and put your best foot forward and then let them know that you want them to listen to those tracks. Include a link to the album. It, it can be free. It doesn't have to be free. Um, it's not likely that, that they're going to download it because you're going to submit them. You're going to give them a free link anyway if it's digital submissions. Um, but if they want to support, then they can support that way. And the last part is websites. Include a link to your website or social media pages so they can get a hold of you. I would say one more thing is probably include a contact email. Um, that's not in the template, but that's a little extra thing that you can add on to it. Okay, so once you created your one sheet, you will take the time to just kind of actually make sure that you put that into the folder that you created earlier, um, the album title, College Radio, and in the next steps, we're going to explain what you're going to do with all of these files to get ready for your college radio campaign. It's going to require you to put together some physical packages and then mail them off to the colleges. But before we do the packaging, we have to create a comprehensive list of all the college radio stations in the United States. Stay tuned for that. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I appreciate you watching this video. If this is your first time here, I'm Wordplay TJ, a hip hop artist and producer from Little Rock, Arkansas, delivering music advice to you. Until next time, peace. I'ma put in work until I'm dead. We can kick it, but I'm never in the red with you. Nah. To win to make it profit, never scared business. Uh -huh. I'm always cooking up, that's a rare feeling. Uh. Looking to step it up like a Fitbit, uh. Gotta be messing it up like the Misfit, huh. While it getting thicker than some biscuits, they trying, but they not like Chris Paul, can't assist.